back to a pearl in every castle of seer. This is CLE Language Art 600, book one. This is raw footage right from the classroom. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is grade lesson 12, prepositions. A couple questions, first of all, and that is what's a third person pronouns? He. He. More of them. 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 They. Theirs. Theirs. It, his, her, those are a few more. All the sentences in a paragraph need to have unity. What does that mean? All the sentences in a paragraph talk about one thing. They talk about one thing, they all have one good idea. What are the seven coordinating conjunctions? For and, and more. more. Or yes. Good. You got them, all seven of them. Remember, fanboys. And conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions do what? They connect words together. Today we're going to talk about prepositions. That's another one of the eight parts of speech. Conjunctions, prepositions. And prepositions also connect words together. But they often show where or which, something like that. And the prepositions are, a nice way of thinking this is, thinking about this is, a preposition is anywhere a mouse can go. Where can a mouse be? Under. On the desk, under something, between the books, um, above the ceiling, through the house, anywhere a mouse can go, anywhere something small could go. Those are prepositions. With, for, from, about, to, of, over, under. Can we make a prepositional phrase? He stepped what? The box. On the box. He stepped on the box. That works. We could be, he stepped into the box. We set. Right. No. no, I know we want to say set the table. We set. On the table. We sat on the table. We sat beside the table. Um, and the house connected with lawn. Connecting words. Maybe want to tell us which house. The house in the on the lawn. The house on the lawn. Okay, is beside. I don't yeah. like that one so much. The house with the big lawn. Um, those are all words that are connecting and describing. Now, if we have something like on the box. On is a preposition, okay? And this, prepositions are always, always found in prepositional phrases. Prepositions are never, ever just found by themselves. Um, we played, suppose we have a sentence like this, we played outside. You know what, I'm gonna write it. We played Outside. Is outside a preposition? No. No, it is not. Why? It's an adverb. It's an adverb. And why is it an adverb instead of a preposition? A prepositional phrase. It does not begin a prepositional phrase. And prepositions are never, ever without prepositional phrases. They always, always need to be part of phrases. If we add a few words, we played outside the church. Now, we no longer have an adverb, we have a preposition, because we have a prepositional phrase. And in that prepositional phrase, we will always find a noun or pronoun. And that noun or pronoun is called the, I'll get your question in order. Object of the preposition. Object of the preposition. Now, objects of prepositions are never, ever subjects of the sentence. Never, ever. Especially like this. One. Jar of peaches fell. What is the subject? What's the verb? Fell. Fell. Who or what fell? Jar. Jar, dude. Not peaches. Okay, jar. We'll go with jar. We will not go with peaches because peaches is part of a prepositional phrase. It's never, ever going to be the subject of the sentence, the object of the preposition. Okay, now, let's diagram the sentence. A noise in church came from my watch. The noise in church came from my watch. What is the verb? Came. Came. Who or what came? Noise. Noise. Can we put anything under noise? The. 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 Anything else? In church. In church, and that's a prepositional phrase. So we put the preposition on this line. In, straight line, 
church. And that's saying which noise, the noise in church. It's modifying noise. Any more prepositional phrases in here? Right. And what is that modifying? Came. Came. It's telling kind of where it came from. So we'll put from my watch under came. From watch. And it's my watch. From my watch. Okie doke. Carry on with your work. 